contrarian, leave it to badass, contrarian badass, Reggie Middleton. She called the housing crash. She called the collapse of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers and the crisis in the Eurozone banking system. At the same time, you got all that publicity and hype. Uh, probably as a, a function of the publicity and hype, the, its primary killer app, its real killer app, at least as of right now, which is the ERC20 token protocol. Mm -hmm. The ability to launch your own token. Mm -hmm. It's really, I can't say it got carried away, but everybody is launching a token. Mm -hmm. Okay, Some of them are very successful in terms of capital taken in. $150 million on um, bank call, I can't, 170 million, what has 200 and change. Um, now, it's, it's sort of misleading. For instance, they say, you know, 150 million sold out in four minutes. No, 150 million sold out in about three and a half to five months because they've been marketing mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. pre-marketing it. Right. Um, my token, as if you take a look at my office, some little scatter brain, uh, so I'm going to launch a token and 40 hours later, you know, but I pushed it as organic sales. That's not good or bad, just differentiating um, the semantics. Mm -hmm. Now, when you raise all this capital, um, it's cool if all of your vendors and contractors and employees would take uh, the theorem as compensation. If they don't, then what do you have to do? Right. You sell the theorem. You sell the theorem, you put down more pressure on the price. Mm -hmm. No, fairly liquid, but you have 30, 30 entities. Um, the average raise of six, seven million on uh, the top 25, you know, percentiles raising, you know, 30 and 40 and 80 million, top 10 percentile raises 100 million. Well, that's a lot of downward pressure. Mm -hmm. And it's exactly what happened. So you get the hype to build up to the top and they have a bunch of people jumping on the top mm -hmm. and then it goes down. Mm -hmm. um, now, of course, in order to invest in additional um, ICOs, you have to buy the Ethereum. So I expect you know, the equilibrium, equilibrium, equilibrium to be reached. Mm -hmm. But uh, I also expect a new token to take the place of, as a staple, the reserve currency of the crypto sphere. I'm not going to mention who Veritas is. So um, that was my attempt at a joke. But, uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so um, in discussing uh, the original um, thought that I had when I woke up this morning, and I was looking at, I do watch, uh, you know, I don't participate very often, I watch the many like Veritasium YouTube videos and blog posts. And um, uh, I was looking at um, a couple of guys who I follow and I respect, and they're not necessarily from the financial industry, but they read and they understand this crypto sphere better than most of the Wall Street sell side guys, may I add, even though they're not trained in this. Um, and they were saying that um, certain ICOs were coming out and they were going to be even better than Veritasium. Which in a way is good. I'm like, wow, I'm the comparison now, right. even better then. Right. So I like that. But being a competitive dude that I am, what do you mean better? <laughs> so <laughs> even was good, the better. Uh, <laughs> and I, then I realized because uh, we focus on our first market, our introductory market, a lot of people think that Veritasium is a financial tool, a financial services tool. It's not, it's a value creation tool and a value uh, trading tool. But you trade this value without middlemen, without third parties. Value is any time you want something that has worth to you or you sell something that has worth to somebody else. So not just finance or insurance or real estate or healthcare or um, legal issues or any industry, right? Any practice that has value to somebody. Um, I'm very bullish on it. Now, Knowing that you can do all this, uh, there's a lot of potential. This potential has much more value creation, wealth creation um, capability than actual buying a security. So not only does, not only does, it, not only is there no need for anybody to look at me trying to push securities, if anything, you should realize that I'm trying my best to push things as a tool. I'm really focusing on this and not focusing on currencies. Right. The reason is the tools are so much more valuable because the tools can mimic, take the place of, or render obsolete the currencies, the stocks, the bonds, and everything else. Yeah. If you understand this, you'll see where those others who understand it create significant wealth in a short amount of time. If you go to Fplor, 
which is a blockchain explorer for ERC20 tokens. You type in Veritasium, look at the top holders, scroll down, look at top holders. The first wallet, I know who the first two or three guys are because they, you know, brought it upon themselves to meet me. Um, they flew to meet me in Jamaica or they came to New York to meet me, etc. And um, one of the guys, he, uh, I say guy, so you know, we only cut like for 51% of the population now, so no more gender identification. One of the um, customers, <laughs> um, I think they put in about $761,000 purchasing our software, right? Mm. I'm gonna call it software, our platform, intelligent platform and software. Sitting on about 26 million right now, okay? That's a $25,300,000 gain, give or take. Now, you think he just sell it off, right? He has not sold anything. He actually transferred some of it to a different wallet mm. and half of it. And that different wallet happens to have many other tokens. Um, almost a list of, kind of a list of all the popular tokens. Mm -hmm. um, Gnosis and Golem and um, Singular T ETB, et cetera. His holding is about maybe 20 or 30 million or 15 million on the Veritasium. Mm -hmm. And then the others are and four million, two million, etc. Mm -hmm. Now that could mean he's just very bullish. He bought a lot of very hits here. But if you take a look at the times and the price of F, and when you put it in, very hits him actually appreciated that much. Right. You go down to number two, um, you can figure out how much they paid for it by looking at the price of F at the time, because we priced it as a ratio to F. Um, once we get into an exchange, which is another story, of why we're not on an exchange, despite the fact we seem to gather a lot of popularity, we were the best performance in history. We were the first one to create a national agreement with a physical stock exchange in the world. And uh, first one, patent applications, global, predating all the competition. And I could run a list down pretty far, despite all this, and two or three applications to every major exchange, for some reason, they decided not to list us. But those who came in afterwards, they were listed. That, I'm gonna shift, I'm gonna shift gears because scatterbrain, but you know, that is interesting because it forces us to survive. So I want to give liquidity, even though it is software, since it is a token, you might as well give, so, um, give this token liquidity. So we use uh, EtherDelta, which is a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized exchange. A lot of people complain about it because it's not super user-friendly, it's a little slower. Um, I think many of them don't realize it's decentralized, meaning there is no central honeypot for someone to hack. You always own, and you always own possess and have control of your private keys, your assets. When you go to any centralized exchange, maybe it be Coinbase or Bittrex or Bitfinex or anybody else, you take your private keys of your um, Veritasium or your Bitcoin or Ethereum and you send it off to somebody else. Now you've taken an autonomous system that was designed to be peer-to-peer -peer and cut the middleman out and you gave it to a middleman. Right. That's why, when, one second, that's why when they get hacked, they take your money. They got hacked because they had real money. Normally, the only way to lose your money is you get hacked, but you voluntarily gave all your assets to somebody else. There's a very similar system with a big centralized wallet, and it works the same way. Uh, Willie Horton was an expert at hacking these systems. Willie Horton was a bank robber. And when asked, why do you rob banks? You know what he said? That's where the money is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's sort of common sense. So why would you lose your tokens? Because you gave your private keys to a centralized authority uh, entity. And if something happens, their security lacks, malfeasance, fraud, whatever, the government takes, you know, confiscates it, you have to put the blame where it belongs. Now, this is not an attack on centralized exchanges, but this is a quick explanation of, of why we use Alpha Delta. And Alpha Delta volume has been skyrocketing. It's difficult as to use the fact that you can't access to fiat, which is what 80% of the people on board are on with, um, and the fact that it's you know a little wonky. Um, our volume does about two and a half million dollars daily, you know, between one and two and a half million dollars daily. That's more than many on the top 20 list that trade US dollar in fiat. Now, what happens when you get an exchange that has fiat access? You know, I expect liquidity to increase, when liquidity decreases, the illiquidity discount decreases. Fancy way of saying, I would think the price will go up, not the value. But um, there seems to be some mitigating factor that causes all the, all the exchanges not to list us. 
that's good. And I must thank you. So our joint venture with the Jamaica Stock Exchange, we'll, um, we have a recording on it, working on it now. If we meet our August 31st deadline, cool. If not, it's going to be pushed to September. I'm going to again, hopefully get it launched before all the kids go back to school. If and, and when that happens, and take the FL, when that happens, Veritasium will also own the most capitalized exchange in the world, trading digital assets. Digital assets that are designed by me, and I'm a financial engineer by trade. So these digital assets will be trading ridiculously unique things, such as the five-year cash flows from that building across the street, title ownership from the guy down, um, down the street, distressed assets from uh, Dominican Republic at a discount with collateral added to bring it up to a rating, all types of things. And I have to thank the exchanges. So thank you very much.